Okay, Isabel is handing out to you guys a, an assessment that we are all going to do together today. We are even going to score these and see what we think about our vitality through leisure. Thank you. Um, there's, I'll, I'll give you the rundown on the direction. So just listen on this. What we're doing with this assessment is we're trying to find out how much vitality and energy you get from your leisure time. Okay, how much you get out of what you're doing. There's 28 statements. They all start all of them with the leisure activities I do. Um, leisure means all the free, freely chosen activities you do that includes things like music, arts, outdoor recreation, special activities, physical exercise, sports, and cultural activities. So, you know, basically times when you're not working and you're hanging out, relaxing, things you do for fun when you don't have obligations. Um, so please read each statement. To the left of each statement is a line for you to indicate how much you agree or disagree with the statement and you're gonna use the following responses, ranking from one as never true, all the way up to five as being always true, okay? So I'm even gonna sit down myself and fill this out. So I'm gonna stop, stop this, pause this for a moment while we do this. All right. So for you that are not here, what we've done, we've taken this vitality through leisure assessment. We talked about how there's 28 statements that talk about the leisure activities that you do. You rank them, um, each question as uh, a number from one through five. And I want all of you that were not here today to get with me on the next class. I've got a copy of this for you. And I want you to also take this and, and fill it out like we did here today. Um, if you have any questions, I can gladly help you with that. Um, but I wanted people to actually do a, to do an assessment, have an opportunity to score it, see how this one here was relatively short for me to pull up. It has the directions. It has a good description of what you're doing. It tells you what you are trying to figure out. And then it tells you how to uh, identify, you know, where you are on the vitality through leisure assessment in, in different settings. And you'll see those uh, or in different areas. And you'll see that when you fill this out for yourself. So if you don't do this, you're doing yourself a disservice because this class is about assessments. I feel brought these for a purpose. Um, also, as they're finishing up, I'll give you guys a reminder. Um, and for the ones that are here, a reminder as well. Next Tuesday is when you're going to bring me those two assignments. The first two that we talked about, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the YouTube video of mine. It is linked in your in the announcements. And I gave really thorough, good instructions on that, pulled up on the screen. It will tell you exactly what I'm looking for you to bring me on next Tuesday. So be sure to bring that to class. And in just a moment, we are going to talk about um, this particular assessment a little bit. You may need to, once you get this assessment and fill it out for the ones of you who aren't here. It may do you some good to watch this next little portion while you're going over the results of what you've done. Okay. I'm going to pause again for just a second. So I'm going to talk, call out each question. And what I want to do is just, this will help me learn a little bit about you guys, just for my own curiosity. Um, I want to find out what the highest number everybody scored on each question. You know, like who had the highest score on number one? So, number one, help me to be in touch with my spirit. Who can beat a two? 
We got a four. Do we have a five? We got a five right here. Okay, Bailey wins. Huh? Never mind, you didn't have a five? Huh? On the first question? No, no, let's, we're going to go back to the, to the first question. I'm sorry. Very first question. I had a two. Well, you had a five and a five? Okay, great. That's good. Um, number two, who can beat a three? I got a four. Um, number three. I had a four, probably could have gone five, honestly. Yeah, I think that for me, this tells you what's important to you about your leisure time. It's a recharge time for me. When I have leisure time, I don't have a lot of it between work and schoolwork and the kids and running here and there. So when I have it, it is all about recharging me to get going the next day. So that's why that number was high for me. Number four, are enjoyable. If, if it's not a five, rethink what you're doing for your leisure. <laughs> for, for, for lack of a better way to put it, I'm just saying, like you need, leisure time needs to be, if you don't have demands, find something you like to do. You know, if you're reading during your leisure time and you don't like to read, <laughs> try audio book. I don't know, figure something out, but, but, but let's make it fun. Uh, number five, improve my relationship with others. What we got? Mine, mine's probably about a one. Um, I put down a three when I was going through here, but the more I think about it, you know, when I get to, uh, you know, when I get leisure and when I get to recharge, after everybody in my house, including my wife, goes to bed. You think she likes me staying up, watching Sports Center, playing games on my phone? Not really. So doesn't really improve my relationship with others, although she understands me and knows that I need that that recharge or or I'm hard to deal with. Help me realize I'm part of a bigger picture. Three for me. Five, improve my physical shape. This tells you who likes to, <laughs> I see twos and stuff flying up everywhere. So good on y'all that have fours and such. Very nice. Help me to relax. That's, that's the key for me. Our rich sources of delightful experiences a five that's what i'm talking about delightful you're doing some good stuff improve my mood a lot of fours a lot of fours help me be in touch with the supreme power of my choice <laughs> i put a three because i didn't know what they were even talking about um <laughs> <laughs> Figured I'd just 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 meet him in the middle on that one and see what happens. Um, improve my mood. Have I done that one? Sorry, I got out of. Help me to relax. Did I do that one? Okay, Jesus. Sorry. I didn't tell y'all what was in that cup over there. My bad. Um, Twelve. Make me feel stronger. I got five. You must like to work out in your free time. Okay, that's your that that that's your leisure thing. Help me to unwind. If I could go higher than five, I would I would do it. Provide me with rich experiences. Mine's a three. Restore me to a new state. Four. For me, what you have? One. You don't get it. It doesn't restore you, huh? Well, at least you're honest and you're being honest with yourself. That's important. 
and improve my views or perspective of life. Not a lot of super high numbers on that one. Contribute to my health. I knew I, I knew I was gonna have fours and fives on a couple of y'all. Um, help me to regenerate from fatigue. Good. Makes sense to me. They should. It should be a pretty high number there. Again, if if not, rethink what you're doing. Make me enthusiastic about life. There we go. If you're holding up a five, that's great. Allow for me to make life changes. Okay. Improve my energy level. I'm going to say four on that because it's what I said. It is literally a recharge for me. I stay up late at night because I, I need a little bit of time where I don't have somebody saying that I or asking for some milk, or, or or emailing me, or calling my name in any form or fashion. And so, yes, I may get less sleep, but I promise you that it helps me in, in that. It improves my energy level. Um, soothes me. What do you like to do? I, I get it. That is soothing. I was wondering if you were going to go with something like art of some sort. That's soothing too. Okay, good. I was just curious. Give me excitement. Fours, fives, a lot of them. Help me pursue my life dreams or allow for different points of view to surface. Okay, help me to feel positive about how I look. I believe we filled ours out the same, dude, just saying. Um, take my mind off of other things. I think, I think you should have a pretty high number here again. If you don't, think about it. It's, you know, that's the reason for assessments. Is to find out information and we are self-assessing today and that's a good thing not only are you you know looking at an actual form you're seeing how it's scored um, it's just good practice and now you would be more familiar with this if you wanted to use this with someone else okay so so take advantage of the opportunity are self-determined Mine's, for me, it's a five. That's, I, I do what I, when I have leisure, I'm going to do what I want to do. I determine what that is. So, and you're going to look at the back, and let's look at these numbers and see what we got. I also want to see, I want to hear the highest uh, numbers, and this, none of this stuff is embarrassing, so don't worry about it. This is just for curiosity's sake. I want to find out the lowest and the highest on each one of these. Um, so, how leisure activities help to broaden and build your horizons, especially mentally. I had a score of 19 on that. 28. 28, that's, that's big. So what that tells you is that they really help. Your leisure is all about, or not all about, but in large part, helping you to mentally build your horizons. That number being so high tells you that that's where you focus on, on that. Okay, how activities impact your physical condition. I have a 17 on that. 16, 22, 23, 27. What do you have? 
Okay. Now, here we go. I might win this one. How you control stress and relax as a result of leisure activities. 26. Hmm? 26 is up there pretty good. That's good. That tells me my leisure, you know, what can we learn from each one of these? That have, having that high number on that, that 26 right there says that my leisure activities serve the role for me to help me control stress and to help me relax. That's why my number is high there. And it gives you, you, you see how it has a high score is over 23. A low score is under 17. So you can see where, you know, most people, are most of y'all falling like within the range on most of them? Or, you know, kind of in that between 17 and 23s, you're just gonna kind of be there. Um, next, how excitement and arousal control boredom and increase positive impacts. I had a 25. 28, 26, I heard a lot of high ones on that. So that's important to us as a, you know, for the most part, I heard a lot of pretty high numbers there that you want some excitement in your leisure time that's going to decrease your boredom and impact you positively. Um, <laughs> lastly, personal betterment or advancement and restoration through leisure activities. 14. Man, we ain't trying to get no better, are we? What you <laughs> 14, 16. We're... Yeah, that's true. That's true. The high score is over 15 and the low score was under 11. Anybody have under 11? You have 11? <laughs> Okay, thank you for that reminder. I forgot that that one was one short on the number, so that, that's good. I was thinking I was really slacking on that one. So then, not only do you have that number for each one, where you can look and see what impacts someone's leisure decisions. You know, what, why do they do leisure? That's what we found out by looking at that and where they rank on those scales. Y'all see that, how it works. Then you go down and you've got your total score. And a high scorer is someone who scores over 104. How many people scored over 104? One, two, three, four. Okay, you guys that scored over 104, you experience high levels of vitality as a result of your leisure activities. So you're in good shape you get a lot of good out of your leisure. A low score under 70. Do we have anybody under 70 or anywhere close to 70? Anybody in the 70s, 80s, 90s? I had 102. So I am, I was almost a high score. Um, but that tells, you know, if you're in between, you know, uh, if you're a low scorer, if someone had scored under 70, that says that different leisure activities or different understanding of leisure, a better understanding of leisure and things that are available for you to do could improve vitality. So as a recreation therapist, if we're working with someone and we give them this assessment and they score a 62, then what does that tell us we need to do? We need, to, we need to introduce them to some new ideas. We need to see if they're open to that. We need to give, try to motivate them, say, and just say it in a way of, you know, look, your, your leisure is not serving the purpose it needs to serve for you. You are not getting rejuvenated. You are not getting a physical boost. You're not getting any of these things that you really want to, to get from leisure. So what are some other things that we could try? You know, and that's where you get dialogue open and you as a recreation 
specialists are able to give them some ideas of some things that maybe you could improve this score and have it be their their leisure be more meaningful and vital a vital part of their life because honestly if someone scores in this low scorer category leisure is not important to this person at this stage it's just not because even if you're gosh if you're bedridden or you know had had very little access to different things you're going to find maybe they don't truly understand what leisure is when they filled this out with you you know maybe you need to give them a really good definition of hey this is when you don't have any demands these are things you like to do you know for fun for relaxing you know leisure is watching tv leisure is reading the book Leisure is playing with your dog. I mean, it's all of those things when you don't have demands on you. So you might have to explain that to them. And that's something we need to know when we give assessments that if we have outliers show up or extremely odd scores, sometimes it may not be, uh, it could be due to the person not fully understanding the questions or the test more you know a lot of times it'll be that case just as much as it them not getting any fulfillment from leisure so remember that and it may be a case where a little education on that would be a helpful situation now let me see what else i got here sent a video over again today if i'm not mistaken i want us to watch and discuss real quick and then okay we talked last time about um assessment tools and if you guys wanted to look in these books i brought one tia has her book uh did you bring yours she brought a red and a green book where you can look for uh assessments that you can use like for your packet for your next stage um, everybody should probably try to find a good assessment so we're not going to talk too too much longer today i'm going to show this video we're going to talk a little bit about it give you all a few minutes to look over this stuff and then i got to go pick my boy up for a ball game so that's where we're going what we're going to do from here so let me i don't think that I have it pulled up here. Let's see. Let me click it and stop it. It's only five minutes. This is a good, this is a good assessment. We'll probably do this one in class. Um, and you know, we have the assignment where I want you guys to find, you know, to get an, an assessment do a video of you assessing someone where you explain what it's for where you explain how it's done where you explain how to score it where you explain what you find from the score and what you recommend for your client or patient based on the score of that particular recreation leisure assessment that you did is that pretty clear to to you guys on what i'm looking for on that all right, let me go back to crap. That's why. Well, hello. That's why I say it's not suitable for kids because you never know what I'm going to say. Let's share the screen. Let's go here. Share it for those of you who are not here. And let's watch. This leisure diagnostic battery by Kayla Boone. And then we'll talk about it. We'll talk about how we think she did. So hello, my name is Kayla Boone, and this is a simulation of an assessment and documentation process for the Air Creek Recreation. Could you please get your name and then go to Brent Flower, please? 
Natalie Coleman, 81899. Okay, I'm going to record your person. So, the purpose of this assessment, we're going to do the Legion Body Biosecure Battery today, and the purpose is to assess several areas that are important to your quality of life. In order to obtain the most adequate and useful results for your assessment today, I will be using the interview guide approach. The topics have been decided in advance, but you're welcome to respond to as if we're having a regular conversation. Do you have any questions for me before the interview? Okay, so your first question is, how good are you at using a telephone? I think I'm great at using my telephone because I use it every day. Could you demonstrate for me, find your contact, and show me? Yes. Is that an Iron Maiden t shirt she's got on? <laughs> Could you show everyone how to do that? Thank you. Okay. When it comes to traveling, how do you get to where you need to go? I drive my own vehicle. Okay. And do you have, um, ever have to have anyone assist you at driving? No. Okay. Next question is, when you're shopping, are you able to buy on your own or do you typically need assistance? I'm usually able to buy on my own. Okay. For meals and housework, are you able to cook and clean full loads or do you need help with the heavier tasks? I can cook and clean full loads. Okay. For the next few questions, or for the next few, I'm going to ask you to rate on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being no independence at all, and 10 being completely independent. Okay, feeding yourself. 10. Bathing. 10. Grooming. 10. Dressing. 10. Toilet use. 10. Transfers, so like getting out of your car. She can do it all, yo. She should have got her to play along. Mobility. 10. Climbing stairs, mm. managing money, mm. and executing your hobbies. Mm. Okay. <laughs> a few more questions. So, is there anything that limits you to do what you want to do? No, I can just do it. Okay. And what do you like to do in your free time? Um, I like to go to the gym. Really? Yeah. Oh, what do you like to? What do you like to do? Like work on? Um, my core. Okay. Um, and then what would be your definition of play? Take your time. Having fun while relaxing. Okay, and then what would be your definition of leisure? Something that relates. Okay, the last question is what is your definition of recreation? Um, Okay, well, thank you for your time, and this concludes our interview. Thank you. Okay, so we're back after scoring Nadia's results. Again, Nadia, I want to say thank you for participating in our interview today. Um, as Nadia's results have shown, she scored a 10 out of 10 on all of her um, independency ratings. So, with that being said, I see no reason for a therapeutic recreation intervention. Um, we will do a follow up interview in the next six weeks just to make sure that everything hasn't changed or has changed or whatever the case may be. Um, I also want to make sure, Nadia, that um, all the results will be locked away. Nobody else will know about it but me. Um, so, your, your uh, results are completely confident, completely private. Um, and that concludes. So the interview is complete. Ms. Holman did give full cooperation. I appreciate her for that. Um, I'm now I'm going to talk about her results. So she did rate, give me a 10 out of 10 um, out of all of the independency rating skills that I gave her. So things like feeding yourselves, bathing, grooming, she gave me 10s on those. So I did see no need for TR intervention. Um, as far as the, as far as the leisure diagnostic battery goes, I asked questions based off the the scales from the LDB, which were perceived leisure competence, leisure control, leisure needs, depth of involvement, playfulness, barriers, and leisure preferences. Um, I did notice that um, her answers were as thorough. But with that being said, um, we're going to go with what we got and.
right. What do you guys think about that one? Number one, I'll say this. I think she should have got her buddy to um, play along a little bit to make it a little more realistic, you know, for a recreation therapy setting. Why would you even be sitting down having that conversation with someone who can do every single thing and whatever she wants, as she says, and she uses her phone all the time, so she's good at it. And um, it just would have been a little better if she would have given her some sort of deficits that she would would kind of play along with where at the end she would have been able to say you know from what we gathered she she needs a little bit of help in this area you know she or whatever that would have made that a little better but what do y'all think otherwise she seemed comfortable much more so than the last one we watched right the one that was interviewing her mother she was, although this girl was reading, she had a ton of personality. You know, when she said, when the girl said that she likes to work out, she was like, oh, really? What do you like to do? You know, like how she just turned it into a conversation, you know, at that moment. And it became more open-ended and gave her a chance to elaborate. And I think whenever you have the opportunity to show some personality and, 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 during an assessment, you'll get better results when you do that, rather than, okay, Tia, today we are going to do the leisure diagnostic battery. Um, and I want you to answer, the, you know, how are you going to feel taking that for me if I'm doing it that way? Not so great, right? Like you won't enjoy it. I mean, Something like that, you could still give me the answers. But she did a pretty good job as far as how she, I mean, you're not gonna have that stuff memorized. You gotta have some kind of little cheat sheet, but you could tell that she had gone over this prior to making her video. She had seen it, she had read over it, she knew what she was talking about because she was able to do it with some personality and that goes a long way. What do y'all think about that particular assessment? What sort of information did we get that's important to us as recreation therapists from that one? Yep, she's self-reliant in every way. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. What does she, which is she open to trying new things or, you know, there's, there's different assessments that, fo that focus on different areas like that too. Um, we found out another thing important is that she has reliable transportation. Kind of slipped it in there in the middle, but she asked her about how she gets where she goes. Um, so if she was in a situation where she had to come to us, we know that she has reliable transportation and we're not having to try to find that out. That's something just, you pick out a lot of little things you, you find out in these assessments. Some of them will kind of slip right over if you're not paying attention. But that, like, that was an important fact that we picked up there. So I'm gonna stop there today. I kind of like showing you all these videos. I'm going to try to keep finding some and we're going to critique them. And then here before long, when y'all turn yours in, we're going to be critiquing each other. So that'll be fun, right? Right? Okay. Um, I'm going to stop this. So again, you guys that aren't here today, be sure to come get this, what we did today for our um, activity. I want you guys to fill it out and see what your numbers are as well. If you have questions, let me know. I'm gonna stop the recording now and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bring me, don't forget your assignment. If you have any questions, go back and watch the uh, recording from last class on my YouTube, okay?